So, the Premier League season is finished. United finished third, beating Leicester, getting that all-important Champions League football. And now, the transfer window is officially open. So, the first question to ask is when are United signing Jadon Sancho? That's what everybody wants to know, to see if we can secure what would be an outrageously perfect signing for a problem position we've had at United for a long time. It's been a while since I've done an update video on Sancho, and today there's plenty of breaking news on Sancho to United. So I'm going to run through all of it. Make sure you subscribe. Hope you like the new layout. This is what I'm going to try and use for all the transfer videos. So make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But let's talk about Jadon Sancho. And the news starts with Build in Germany. They are saying that Manchester United have had a 98 million euro bid rejected by Dortmund for Sancho and that Dortmund are holding out and expecting United to come back with an offer of around 120 million euros. That's a lot of money. 100 million was always, I think, what we thought Jadon Sancho would cost. Let me know if you think that's changed or not. But United got Champions League, which I considered to be a vital piece of the puzzle in terms of signing Jadon Sancho. United needed to be in the Champions League. So we've gone and done that. Now it's down to the valuation. And if you go over towards ESPN, you can see their reports and they're saying that Woodward and Judge are now starting these negotiations and they think that a deal can be done for £80 million plus achievable add-ons for Jadon Sancho. And ESPN go a little bit further and say that Sancho's representatives had let Dortmund know that he wants a new challenge, that he wants to join Man United. So that is happy days and I've been hearing that as well behind the scenes. So... I think Jadon Sancho wants to move. United have got the Champions League football now. Tick, tick. It's about the price and it always was the price. But if the Bruno Fernandes transfer really taught United anything, get it done earlier. Bruno made such a sensational impact from January onwards. It makes you wonder what could have happened if we did sign him in the summer. We had the opportunity to, but we didn't want to pay up for him. We can't afford to make that mistake with Jadon Sancho. And the Premier League, like it's just finished, but what is it? July the 27th now. September the 12th. The Premier League is already back. That's what's that? Six weeks? Five, six weeks? United can't afford to really make the same mistakes with Jadon Sancho and wait and draw out that negotiation process into October, I think, which is when the transfer window closes. Just get it done earlier. And it's all about that fee. Now, Laurie Whitwell from The Athletic Comes with a more pessimistic view and one that I probably share, but I really wish I didn't in the idea that fans should expect it to be a long, drawn-out negotiation for Jadon Sancho and that Matt Judge and Ed Woodward are going to do pretty much the same thing that they did with Bruno Fernandes and that we should all expect this to be a painful, long, drawn-out process. Now, United really need to just... We, we've taken steps forward as a football club on the pitch by beating Leicester under the pressure moment, in the big game and getting the Champions League football. Off the pitch, we have to replicate that growth and continuation of improvements. And negotiations in transfers has to be considered a key and vital ingredient of that. There's already been stories coming out saying that United and Edward would want to appoint a technical director. And that's just bullshit, I think. At this point, we can all agree on that, surely. If we really were going to get a technical director or director, whoever, a director of some variety, would have happened by now. And it's just lip service and the PR machine of Edward coming out near Ashton to suggest otherwise. That's my own personal opinion. You may disagree and maybe we will get one, but I really don't think we will. But in terms of Jadon Sancho, it, it's clear as day that United need a right winger. You know, Mason Greenwood broke through a sensational breakthrough season. But for us to rely on him from now on to start every game would be detrimental to the length of his career. There's a real reason Michael Owen was dead and buried a few years into his career when he was well, he was sensational when he broke through at 18. Players of that age need to be ushered in slowly. I think that's a big reason why Rashford had a dip for so long until Solskjaer came in and helped bring the best out of him. But Greenwood needs to be, we need more quality in this squad. Right wing, central midfield and centre back. I'll do a separate video on that in terms of the positions I think we need to sign players in. Jadon Sancho is the right winger that we all want, that we all need. Link up with Rashford, link up with Greenwood and Martial. It's perfect. It makes sense on paper. And Sancho will want to join this team now because we've got Champions League football, because we're going places. It's a very exciting attacking team. Put Sancho into it 
and it's one of the best attacking teams in the Premier League. With Bruno Fernandes and Pogba behind Greenwood, Rashford, Martial and Sancho. Jesus, that's fantastic. It really, really is. And if Sancho's representatives have made it clear to Dortmund he wants a move, tick. United have got Champions League, tick. United have got top four. United are looking better under Solskjaer, tick, tick. You know, this. everything seems to be in place for the transfer to go through. And it all now depends on United and the price. And the fact that it's the coronavirus transfer market now, which is a very new ground. And Real Madrid have already said they're not going to spend big this summer. I don't think the fees should be as astronomical as they have been previously. I think that does give a slight advantage to United. And if we went in with a bit of 80 million plus achievable add-ons, is that something that Dortmund really are going to reject? Well, according to Bill, they have rejected. 98 million euros bid has been rejected, but they're expecting us to go back with 120 million. It's going to be a tug of war. It's going to be two stubborn mules, Borussia Dortmund and Ed Woodward and Matt Judge. Who's going to crack first? Eventually, we crack with Bruno Fernandes, but what's the point in waiting now? with Jadon Sancho. Get it done. Get it over the line. Get him in for the first game of the season on the September 12th. And let's just move on as a football club. Let's not repeat the mistakes we've made in previous summers this summer. We've corrected a lot of mistakes on the pitch. It's time to correct quite a lot of those mistakes off the pitch. And quick, the quicker negotiations so that we can move on to different targets because we have to try and get more than one deal done this summer. One key, key deal. Sancho is one of them. As I said, central midfielder and centre-back. For me, are probably another two of them. I'm not sure we're going to get all three. Let me know what you think would be the most important. But for me, maybe it's Jadon Sancho. As good as our attack is, Jadon Sancho comes in. And when you have a great attack, it, it sort of covers the, the, the lack of quality further behind. But we've got the quality there with Pogba and Fernandes. Matic is questionable since he signed his new contract. I still think we need a central midfielder there, but we're talking about Jaden Sancho. Let me know what you think about the update. Build saying a 98 million euro bid rejected and they're expecting United to come back for 120. Would you pay that much for Sancho? I would. Get it done. But let me know what you think in the comments below. As I said, hope you like the new setup. Drop a like on the video. But Jaden Sancho, the transfer talks begin.